Welcome back everybody, this is David from Drums Equal Joy. Today we're going to talk about five versus two, polyrhythms, five versus two. Why are polyrhythms so important? What is the thing about polyrhythms? Well, basically, polyrhythms are your groove. They're your rhythmic content. That's what makes you dance. That's what makes you feel the, move, uh, feel the movement, the music. It makes you want to get up and dance. Polyrhythms. It's not just one rhythm. It's Poly means more than one. It's more than one rhythm, and they're playing against each other. Now, the thing about polyrhythms is you feel that tension, and then it usually comes back and starts over again. That's the beat. That's the measure. So it always starts back over. So they're always going to start back over on one, and you go through your polyrhythms, whatever values that you have against each other, playing together within that same time frame. Today, we're going to talk about five and two, two and five. So if I have five rhythms, five beats in one measure, and at the same time, I have two beats in that same measure that I have five. Now, the thing is, these beats are equally spaced out. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I would also have my two beats spaced out. Okay, so I'm playing five beats within the same time frame as I'm playing two beats. Now, how do we get here? How do we get to this five versus two in an equal time? Well, let's think about it. Five and two are, uh, the least common multiple of five and two is 10, right? So I'm gonna play five beats within a rhythm of 10 beats overall, and I'm gonna play two beats within a rhythm of 10. That's how they're equally spaced out. So if I'm playing five beats in 10, that's, I'm gonna count to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My five beats within that are going to be on the one, the three, the five, the seven, the nine, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. Mess that up. Let me just do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Okay? Now, my left hand, I'm going to play the two on that same time frame of one to ten. So that's gonna be on the one and the six. So it's gonna be something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Okay, so that's each part broken down. Five on my right hand, one, three, five, seven, nine and two on my left hand on the one and six as I count to 10. So let's put it all together, play five versus two. So it'll be something like this. One, Two notes. Now in my brain, I'm thinking, because I've been playing drums for a while, I'm thinking, okay, of five quarter notes, and instead of counting to ten, I'm like five, you know, one and two and three and four and five and one and two and three and four and five and and then I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is coming on the one, and then it's also coming on the three and. Okay, so three and three and four, five, so one, two, three and one, two, three, and four, five, one, and two, and three, and four, five, one, and two, and, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. Okay, pretty cool. Now, I always like to switch things up so you don't become too dominant on one hand or one thing, and this is really good for your brain. If you play it one way with one hand or one body part leading, Let's flip it and reverse it and play it the other way. So now I'm going to play the five with the left and the two with the right hand. It's going to be something like this. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one. So that 
way I just flipped it and reversed it. Five with the left, two with the right. So the amazing thing about polyrhythms is so, so important because think about it. Music would be so boring without polyrhythms. They are the backbone uh, groove of what you're playing. And the cool thing, it's not just the drums themselves, the whole music together are all polyrhythms against each other. Uh, your guitar is playing one thing, your bass, your keyboards, your vocal rhythms. So that's what makes music so great is that you can have all these different um, all these different instruments playing rhythms against each other and then they all come back in and start over and they don't always all come in on one but you, you feel that musical measure repeating itself and, and yet they're all a little bit uh, displaced around each other creating that rhythmic content and that groove and feel. That's it, five verses two, two verses five, polyrhythms, awesome things. I'm David, please, uh, please subscribe to Drums Equal Joy. Please subscribe to Drums Equal Joy. Have a good one.